Hello everyone, here we go again. This is Easy Natural English with Liam, which means for the next 10 minutes or so, you're going to get some natural listening practice, which is going to help you to get closer to where you want to be with your English level. Don't worry if you don't understand everything, just keep listening and you will get better. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about how I lived or uh, how I have lived in nine countries um, because I'm still relatively young. So when I tell people that I've lived in nine countries, often they ask me, how? How did you do that? Well, um, first thing I want to say is um, I consider myself to be uh, quite lucky because um, I was born in the UK, which means first off, I have a passport which allows me to do this. Um, I feel that it's very unfortunate that uh, many people in the world, um, other countries don't respect them and their passport is not as strong. So it's very hard for some people to get um, visas and things like that. You know, of course, um, because of economy differences as well. Of course, money is a problem. But then even if they have enough money, uh, for some people, it can be very hard to travel if their passport um, doesn't allow them to or if other countries don't yeah, accept their passport. So, yeah, I'm very sorry that that is the state of the world. Um, but yeah, for me, I had a UK passport, so it was much easier for me than it might be for some of my listeners. Um, but with that being said, um, yeah, the first first country that I went to. So um, actually, when I was 19, when I was 19 years old, that was when I first um, left the UK. And before that, uh, yeah, my family didn't have much money. So I had only been overseas once. I had only been to Spain, uh, to Tenerife in Spain. So I'd only been out of the UK one time before I was 19. So I, in, in English we say I had itchy feet. Itchy feet. That doesn't mean like I need to scratch my feet. Not really. But uh, itchy feet means uh, you really want to travel. You want to go to many places. So yeah, I came from quite a small place. Um, I was a little bit uh, frustrated, a little bit bored, and I wanted to go and see the world. So when I was 19, I left the UK. And uh, first I went to work on farms in France. So I didn't have much money at the time, but uh, France, uh, well, actually many, sorry, many countries have this thing called woofing. And uh, woofing is a website where you can find kind of volunteer farm work so you work on a farm and in exchange, they give you uh, food and accommodation. So you get food and a place to sleep. Um, so it's kind of a fun experience and you don't need money to travel in this case. It's kind of like a homestay, but you have to work to earn your place there. So I did that um, in France to begin with. Like I said, it didn't have much money. Um, so that was a cheap way to travel. And then um, I didn't need a visa because uh, UK was still part of the EU at that time. I uh, don't know what's going to happen from now on. You know, if you're following the news, the UK has just left the EU. So who knows what will happen? But uh, yeah, at that time, I could easily live and work in France with no visa. Uh, then after that, I went to Portugal. And in Portugal, um, I had a very good friend there in Portugal, so I could stay with him. And he helped me to get a job working in a bar, um, you know, serving drinks. Um, but my, my main job in the bar was actually getting people to come into the bar. So sort of promotion. Um, you know, I would go into the street with flyers. And like flyers is like a little advertisement um, on paper. And I would give these flyers to mostly to backpackers, to tourists. And I would say, hey, come to our bar. You can get drunk. You can eat some food. <laughs> come and spend some money. 
at the bar. So that was that was my job there in Portugal. And again, visa wise, no problem because it was part of the EU. Then after Portugal, uh, my friend and I, the one who I was with in Portugal, we decided to go to Holland. Um, actually, just for his birthday, um, it was we had we were young and a bit crazy. And we had this idea that we would just go to Holland, uh, celebrate his birthday. And then we were planning to move to Switzerland and start working on a ski resort. Uh, that was the idea. But because we were young and stupid, we spent all our money in Holland. So we literally had zero euros. We had no money at all. So sometimes, you know, when people say, I have no money, they mean, I don't have much money. But here, when I say I don't, I, we had no money, I mean, we had no money at all. So what did we do? We, um, we found a job uh, in a hostel, or some people say a backpackers. So that is like a hotel kind of for young people. And you have a dorm room. So everybody shares a room. You might have four people in your room. You might have six people in a room, 10 people in a room. Um, so yeah, people share a dorm room that's called a hostel or a backpackers. We um, found a job in the backpackers and in return, they gave us accommodation. So they gave us a place to sleep. So we didn't get money for this work. We just got a place to sleep in the hostel, which is important when you have no money. <laughs> so that was step one. We found a place to sleep but then we needed some money. So we went and we found a job in a restaurant. It was actually a kind of Japanese fusion restaurant. It wasn't real Japanese food. It was made by Europeans, so it's slightly different. But uh, yeah, it was a Japanese fusion restaurant. And uh, there we could get free food while we were working there. So we had free accommodation at the hostel, free food at the uh, restaurant. And then Oh, and in the hostel, we got free breakfast too. So then after, and then after one month, we finally got a paycheck from the restaurant and we finally had some money and we could start living a kind of normal life again for a little while. Because then my friend and I, we decided to move to New Zealand. And on the way to New Zealand, we stopped in uh, Thailand and we spent all our money again in Thailand. And we didn't have much money left when we arrived in New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, visa-wise, we got a working holiday visa. So a working holiday visa gives you one year to work in a country um, and travel. You can work and travel together. So it's like for young people, you have to be under 30 years old. So we did that. We got working holiday visas. We arrived in Auckland with very little money. Uh, we spent most of our money while we were looking for jobs. So... We uh, stayed in a hostel with a very nice owner and he let us uh, stay for free until we could pay him. So we just gave him our passports um, just for trust. So, you know, if he had our passports, we couldn't run away. And then he knew we were looking for work. And once we found work and we got money, then we paid for the nights that we had been staying there. Um, so, yeah, as you... If, you, if you're listening, you can see that um, me and my friend, when we were young, we were a little bit crazy. Uh, in English, you could say reckless. Reckless means not very responsible, not really thinking about the future. Um, yeah, so we were a bit reckless. Um, so yeah, worked in New Zealand. I was actually working in like a very expensive suit store selling very fancy suits from Italy. And then after that, uh, my friend, he stayed in New Zealand, but I went to Australia and I did another working holiday visa in Australia. There I worked to save money for a charity. And um, I also, um, what was my other job? And then I worked on a farm after that. I think actually there's a previous podcast episode um, about about working on the farm, about, you know, it was a pineapple, <laughs> pineapple farm. Pick, I was picking pineapples. If you're interested in that story, yeah, check out the podcast episode. Um, it's not a, you won't find that one on the YouTube channel. That was before I was making uh, YouTube videos, but that's a yeah, podcast episode. Um, actually, um, so 
as usual, you know, I make this with uh, no script, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say. And I plan to make this in one episode, but I realize now that this story is getting a bit long, so I'm actually gonna end it here as part one. And so that's how many countries have we done so far? That's France, Portugal, Holland, New Zealand, Australia. So that's five countries. And then, yeah, part two. So coming up soon in the next uh, episode, I'll talk about the other countries I lived in and, uh, yeah, the different jobs I did in those places and what I did visa-wise kind of similar to this one. So if you've enjoyed this story, please come back and check the next one whenever I make that. Okay, but anyway, to all of you, thank you as always for listening. Uh, if you'd really like to support this uh, podcast and YouTube, check out my Patreon page where you can give a little donation to keep me going and give me motivation. But otherwise, you can support me just by liking, subscribing, reviewing, uh, commenting, sharing with your friends, and just keep coming back and keep watching it. So thank you all for listening, and I will see you all back here next time.